Yes, indeed. Let us give praise and thanks to God because He is good and His mercies endure it forever. I want to welcome you to the Voice of Hope. Today, we want to continue with our um, sister-day journey into the Word of God. And today, we are going to read not just one book of the Bible, but we are going to read five solid Bible books. Hallelujah. Do not be scared because these are all very, very short books um, in the Bible. So we are going to be reading from the book of Micah and then we are going to end at the book of Malachi. So basically we are reading Micah, then after that we read the book of Nahum and then we read the book of Habakkuk and then we read the book of Zephaniah and then finally we will end it with the book of Haggai. They are all very, very short book, one chapter, two chapter, three chapter here and there. So you're going to be done with it in no time. But our devotional message is taken from the book of Micah and there is a very, very important instruction for every Christian living in these last days. Micah chapter 6 and I'm going to read verse number 8. Listen to what the Bible says. It says, He has told you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you? But to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. You know, this is very, very important because sometimes as Christians, we kind of don't know what God requires of us. We, we try to do things to please God, but they may not be in line with what God actually requires of us. But this prophet Micah, you know, delivers exactly what we need to know. And he says, he has told you, oh man. And the man here is generic, which means he has told you, whether you're a man or woman, what is good and what does the Lord require of you? He says, but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. It's the first thing that God requires from us has to do with a righteous life. He says, you must do justice. Why is this important? He said, we live in a world of injustice. And as Christians, we have been called to promote justice. The Bible consistently emphasizes our responsibility to protect those who are, you know, who, who are looked down upon, those who are not considered to be important. We are not to live a life of selfishness. We must be selfless in everything. And the second part is that we must love kindness. We must love what is good and show kindness towards those who are in need. The final part is, you need to walk humbly with your God. And this has to do with your lifestyle, your relationship with God. You are not to live a life of pride, but you must live a life of humility. That is the character trait of our Lord Jesus Christ. So my dear friend, today, if you are wondering what God requires of you, then the word in Micah chapter 6, verse 8, is a word in season for you and I. He requires that we do justice. He requires that we love kindness. In other words, we love mercy. He requires that we walk humbly with him. May God show favor to you today, even as you do what he requires of you today. God bless you, and may you enjoy reading his word today in the name of Jesus Christ. Have a blessed day. Shalom.